and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. In this video we're going to do something a little bit special. In this video we're going to be doing a flip through of the coloring book that I created. Uh, this is a coloring book for all ages and I went ahead and did a coloring book about one of the things that I know best which is the state of New Mexico where I live. And so I've gone ahead and created 25 drawings of things that you can find in New Mexico. And this book is on sale at Amazon. And it's also on sale in several different countries on Amazon. So you can get it pretty much anywhere worldwide. And so I just wanted to go ahead and have a little flip through of it so you can kind of get an idea of what it's like. Um, in this one, I used some brief descriptions on the back of the pages so that um, you would know what some of these things are because a lot of customs and uh, celebrations and things are not well known maybe outside New Mexico so I thought that I would give a brief description of them and I tried to make the uh, font a lighter color because I didn't want it to uh, go through the pictures on the page so the font is sort of a, a little bit of a lighter grayish color and all the paintings and the, the drawings um, are all on one side so if you, the mediums that you use like markers or watercolors go through um, it will just uh, go through on words and it won't mess up any of the other pictures. So this is my title page. I've called it Coloring the Land of Enchantment which is the nickname of our state and then I go ahead and I have a, a little introduction about New Mexico and how many pages that I've got in there and and all the different kinds of mediums that you might want to use to color this book and I also have my um, web address if you want to go ahead and look at it and then I have two coloring test pages and I went ahead and put them in the shapes of little chilies just because that's one of the main um, vegetables that we sell in New Mexico and so you can go ahead and try your mediums out here. And then I went ahead and started with the yucca. And that this is our state flower of New Mexico. And I put a little bit of information about it on the uh, left side. And then you can go ahead and you can color the page. And then the next one is I did a roadrunner because that's our state bird. And again, I have a little bit of information there and just tells that they run really fast and they're a cuckoo bird. And um, I put in the main picture in the center of the design and then I put designs around the edges so that those that want more detail can have them. And then this is prickly pear cactus flowers. Uh, this is a plant that grows in New Mexico and it's cactuses. So um, you definitely don't want to touch them. They're really sharp. And again, I did some decorations around the sides of the pictures. And like I said, um, that's for those that want more detail. And then here's an elk. This is some of the wildlife that is in New Mexico. Um, this elk lives in, they live in the mountains. And they're sort of a, a deer relative. And they're uh, pretty big. They're a pretty big animal. And... I just thought I'd put in a nice uh, mountain background and uh, some old dead trees and, and some pine trees because that's usually where they live. And we also have horned toad lizards in New Mexico. And they're, uh, they live in the dry climates, dry warm climates. And the ones that we have aren't very big, but they really are cute. I really like uh, horned toad lizards. I've always liked them even as a kid and the babies they have little bitty babies and they're really really cute when they have the little babies hatch out and they're very small 
And here's some more wildlife that we have in New Mexico, and these are called prairie dogs. And they're kind of a rodent uh, animal, and they, they dig holes in the ground, and uh, they, have, they live in colonies, so they'll have like prairie dog towns where there's lots of holes. And then one of the, some of the events that we have in New Mexico, one of them is the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta, and it's an international fiesta, so people come from all over the world uh, to see this festival. And here I put in a bunch of um, different designs around the edges. And then also some more animals. And the landmark that we have in New Mexico is Carlbad, Carlsbad Caverns. And this is um, it's a series of caves that they have near Carlsbad. And... They have real pretty limestone formations in them, and they also have bats that live there, and a lot of people will watch the bats fly in and out of the caves and uh, during the evening and in the morning when they come back. And then here is the Oregon Mountains, and these are near Las Cruces, and they're a famous landmark in southern New Mexico, and they're called Oregon Mountains because they look like a big giant pipe organ. And I just went ahead and, and put a jackrabbit in this picture too because uh, that's some of the wildlife that we have in New Mexico. And there's plenty of jackrabbits that live near these mountains. And I also put a lot of designs of uh, Native American designs around this uh, picture because that's um, one of the prominent things that we have in New Mexico. Here's the sanctuary of Chimayo. This is a famous church that's found in New Mexico. And many people make a pil pilgrimage to it every year. And it has some dirt there that is said to have healing properties. And so a lot of people, and especially around Easter, will make the pilgrimage up to this church. And I put some uh, sort of mission, Spanish mission designs around this picture um, just for coloring and like I said this is for people that want more detail if you don't want so much detail I have other pictures with less designs here and here's one this is a New Mexico cowboy and New Mexico is famous for its ranches it's still considered part of the west or the old west and so there's um, several ranches here and they have cowboys on there and they help um, take care of the cows and, and round up the cows. And they also have lots of cowgirls in New Mexico. And so they do the same thing that the cowboys do. They help round up the cows and, and rope and ride and, and do pretty much the same thing that cowboys do as well. And I've put some designs that um, are really nice for a cowgirl uh, clothes and boots and things around that picture. Another thing that we have is uh, windmills in the in the old west. They used these for um, pumping the water because it didn't have any electricity. So they have these little windmills, and there are still a few around, but a lot of a lot of them are being replaced with electric pumps now and. And so there aren't quite so many of these um, old windmills left. And then this is Shiprock, and this is a formation in northern New Mexico, and it's found on the uh, Navajo uh, land, and it's sort of it's a sacred um, landmark for the Navajo people. And it's also called Shiprock because it looks like a giant ship that's just sort of out there in the desert. And I've put some designs around the edges of the yay uh, spirits and deities that are prominent in the Navajo religion. And then another thing that is popular in New Mexico and part of our heritage is the mariachi band. And the mariachi band usually consists of several um, ho horn players and guitarists and violinists. And they sing and they also back each other up and then usually they'll be accompanied with um, some dancers wearing really bright colorful costumes and these costumes can be red or blue or um, pink um, yellow just 
orange, really pretty, bright, colorful costumes. And then this is a picture of sort of the past of New Mexico. This is the Pueblo Native American women, and they um, used to put these pots on their heads, and then they would fetch water and bring them back from their um, bring them back to their villages so that they could have water to cook and to wash clothes and things in. And they carried them on their heads, and they were, um, it was very, <laughs> um, it looks like it would be hard to do for, to me, but they did it just perfectly, and, and I guess they learned how to balance very well. And I've put some um, Native American Pueblo designs around this picture, on the borders if you want to uh, go ahead and color those or you can just leave them as black and white. Um, another thing that we have in New Mexico for the Pueblo tribes are the Kachinas and this is a picture of the Sun Kachina and this is in the uh, Pueblo religions. These are um, spirits of nature and um, they represent uh, the sun and, and corn and and things in nature and this one is a sun god and he's one of my favorite ones a sun kachina and they also are usually made in little small carved statues another place that we have in New Mexico is the White Sands National Monument and this is a park that um, consists of sand dunes from a, a dried up lake bed and it has a legend in it that there was once a Spanish soldier who was killed in a battle with Apache warriors. And when his fiance heard about it, she came looking for him. And you can see her uh, wandering the sand dunes at night in uh, the White Sands National Monument. And she appears usually dressed in, in white like she's wearing a, a wedding dress and she's looking for her um, lost fiance and she um, appears usually when the wind is blowing and you can see her um, usually in the moonlight and so this is another legend in New Mexico um, this is called Zozobro and this is sort of a, it's a festival unique to New Mexico. And what it is, is it's called the Burning of Old Man Gloom. And it's an event where they take a 50-foot giant marionette, and it's made out of paper mache. And they put in old papers and uh, divorce papers, things that are bad memories for you, and they burn it on the bonfire. And... This represents a new start and the burning of the old year and it uh, burning away all your bad memories and burning away the memory, the, the um, old winter and starting a new um, life. And it's done uh, every year and the, the colors on the puppet's hair uh, usually range from bright green to purple and orange just different colors and it's just kind of a way to celebrate new beginnings and this is a festival that's unique mostly to northern New Mexico and then here is my take on the Roswell UFO incident um, in 1947 there was a UFO that crashed near Roswell New Mexico and um, there's tons of theories as to what this was but here's my theory you shouldn't be reading a map while you're trying to fly your little flying saucer because you're going to crash into a sign <laughs> and because you're not paying attention to where you're going so that was just my little whimsical take on the Roswell UFO incident and then this is Billy the Kid and Billy the Kid was a famous outlaw in the old west and he was involved in the uh, Lincoln County War and I just kind of wanted to put a funny spin on uh, his name and, and just make him kind of a like a bratty kid or something. And so I've just got him kind of drawn as a cartoon character. And this is some of the uh, pictures that I've done that are for um, more whimsical if you want to just kind of not be so serious. And 
Um, this is also another whimsical one. This is Blackjack Ketchum. And he was another bandit that was in New Mexico. And he was a train robber. And he had this great big black mustache. And so they called him Blackjack Ketchum. And um, he robbed the train near Deming, New Mexico one time. And he robbed several trains. And so um, I just thought that it would be funny to kind of give him a also a whimsical look and he's got his gang with him and the horses are part of the gang too they look really tough and i just thought that would be kind of fun and then this is something that we use as a decoration in new mexico and it's called a chili ristra and ristras are dried red chilies and they string them together in a bundle they usually tie the stems together and then they put a little bit of straw on the top for decoration. And they're usually hung um, on the doors or on the walls. And uh, it's also used a lot in New Mexico for Christmas decorations. And then another thing that we do in New Mexico is we have luminarias. And luminarias are little lantern-like things. And what you do is you take a open-top paper sack... You fill it with sand and you put a tiny little candle in the center and you light it and then you can put it along pathways on the church and on top of the churches, the church walls, houses, and they look just really beautiful at night. And then the other thing that we are known for in New Mexico is our chili. And we have red and green chili peppers. And one of the places that is famous for chilies is Hatch and they have a big chili festival every year and about the beginning of September and they come and they and people come from all over the world and they look at the chilies and try dishes and there's decorations and there's all kinds of things so this is just kind of my little tour of New Mexico I just uh, named a few things that New Mexico is famous for that are sort of unique and not many uh, states have the, these things and probably um, not all countries do either even though um, we share a lot of customs with New Mexico uh, with Mexico uh, New Mexico has some of its own customs that are unique and different from even the Central American countries so I hope you enjoyed this uh, coloring book. And as I said, it's on sale on Amazon. You can get it right now. And it's a, a print on demand. So when you order it, they'll print you up a copy and send it to you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments about what you would like to see next on this channel, just leave them in the comments down below and I will catch you later.